Here at Nickel Paint and Body, I think Nickel, I don't know if it's pronounced Nickel, Nickel, I don't know. I've known the guy for a while now, super good dude. Offered me the use of his paint booth. And uh, of course, you know, like any reasonable person, I took him up on it. And I'm gonna tell you something, I have some really outstanding people that have my back. And I couldn't do the things I do to the level that I do them without them. And uh, <clears throat> I'm eternally grateful, you know, it's, it's a big, big deal. In here in the booth, I'm gonna turn this thing up, I'm gonna turn this thing on which fans will be running and it's gonna be loud. So, you know, we ain't gonna be able to hear nothing. So I'm just gonna put it on time-lapse. I'm gonna set this truck up, mask it off, and we're gonna get after it. So I just wanted to throw this out there. This is Josh's car, once again. But, uh, square body boo, turbo LS. Check his dash out in this thing. Let me see if I can. Yeah, it ain't helping. But uh, 08 Cobalt, everything's kill matted, caged. Killer, killer car. Beautiful job on the paint and body, as you would expect. But uh, the possibility exists that this car will be at the No Name Nationals. We have to see how things play out, but it might, might be there. Anyway, I just wanted to show this to you guys because I know you're all a bunch of car maniacs like me and my friends are. And, I just think it's a killer car and I thought I'd share it. Well, I'm obviously not super smart. Apparently the lights and the fan are on different breakers, but got that found. So anyway, I'm still gonna put this on time-lapse and do this because frankly, it'd be pretty boring. All right, got this bad man with jammer masked off. Uh, and if you were paying attention in the last video, you'd see there's overspray in this stuff. And you're probably wondering why I masked off something that already has overspray on it in the interior. Don't care, it's all about to be redone. Why would I mask off stuff I don't care if it gets overspray on? I did it to keep the dust out. You know, it's like even like here and my tape fell off that, but whatever. I did have that taped up, but it's not anymore may roll up a piece of paper towel and stick in it or something, but it's like around the corners here and stuff, when you're painting and you're blowing through there, you know, if there's a gap, there's gonna be some dust trapped in here. And if you can keep the dust to a minimum, you can keep your, your cutting and buffing to a minimum, which I'm gonna cut and buff this thing anyway. Got the doors laid out. Uh, everything's pretty much there, man. I'm pretty happy with it. And it's as good as it's getting anyway, is I'm done. And, uh, I'm gonna come in here in the morning and I'm gonna wipe this thing down and I'm gonna put it to it. So I'm gonna pick it back up there. Got the booth running, truck's all masked, uh, wiped down, tacked off, ready to go. So I'm fixing to go in here, put the mask on, hit it with a coat of sealer, and then away we go.
Next up, clear coat. satisfied with that i got one little one little sag right there but overall it's really good uh satisfied with it as a whole got the paint rolled into the insides of the fenders nice up here under the i mean that's all going to be covered but that's okay because i know the difference and uh yeah pretty happy with it pretty happy with it once it's cut and buffed it's gonna look really good then over here i've got a door just laying on the dirt <laughs> right here but we're fixing to put those up but uh it all came out pretty good i'm pretty happy and uh once again i want to thank josh nickel paint and body uh, and he's just now starting a youtube channel calls it the block party i'll throw a link in the description i'll also tag him in this video Josh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I could not have achieved these results without your grace. So it is appreciated more than I can express in words. But finally got paint on this hoopty, and buddy, I'm excited to start going back the other way with it. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you'll join me next time.